Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Guys, welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Hope everyone is doing great. Today we will be making my favorite snack and it's called salseo um, or chicken foot. However you say it in whatever country you are. But in Guyana grow up, we used to say either way, salseo or chicken foot. So let's get into the ingredients for this delicious snack. So here we have some flour and I have some of my green seasoning and you know my I have a recipe um on YouTube here with my green seasoning blend and it packs a bunch of flavors in there. I have like garlic, ginger, um thyme leaf, pepper. So I can't even remember some of the ingredients, but it has like a bunch of pack of good flavors. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link below in this video how to do the, gr the green seasoning my green seasoning mix and um, also everything i will be using here will be listed in the description box below along with the measurements so over to here we have some salt we have some roasted jira i have here some turmeric i have here some curry powder some sugar um, i have here some baking powder and some cayenne pepper i love that spiciness and I have here some water. So we're just going to get into the mixing of this. So I'm just going to add everything to my bowl. Get all that turmeric. And those are curry powder, sugar, cayenne pepper, baking powder. I have some additional flour there for dusting. And then we're just going to going with my hand of course guys I already washed my hand so basically we're trying to make a dough here not a uh, too um, soft dough not too stiff dough I would say like a roti consistency dough an oil roti and guys remember everyone cooks differently everyone add a little touch of different spices and ingredients so this is my take on it i hope you guys enjoy this recipe growing up i used to love this and um, some people do add split peas um, powder to this um i don't like it so i eliminate it but if you would want that split peas and um, that dull flavor to it you can go ahead and add a cup of um split peas to this In goes my water and I'm just mixing it, combining it. I know growing up everyone used to buy this from the canteen. This with some nice spicy mango sour or tamarind sour. Or if not from the canteen, they used to have the ladies that would sell out on the street behind the school or like in front of the school. Oh my god. Man, those the, those ladies used to make the best snacks like plantain chips and and salsa or and fudge and the best icicle school days. Cameraman, what do you buy from your canteen? You don't even go to your canteen. So I'm gradually adding my water, guys, to pick up my um, my dough. I will be cutting this with a knife, so I don't want too sticky a dough. Um, if you're using, there is a gadget out there, I know, um, that's like a salsa press or machine that you can use to um, press the salsa directly into the oil. But I don't have that gadget, so we're just making a dough and we're going to toast it up on our tawa. And we're going to just cut. So this is the consistency I'm looking for. But um, like I said, <laughs> look at me breaking my glass bowl. Like I said, if you're going to use that gadget to press it out, 
if you have that gadget and you would want the dough softer than this so i'm just like forming it into a ball this doesn't require a lot of kneading i'm just trying to work it into a ball i get all the flour incorporated into it and look at the beautiful turmeric and curry powder color in it so this is pretty much what i'm looking for i'm just gonna put a tea towel well i'm not using a tea towel i'm just gonna put a damp paper towel and let this sit for probably 20 minutes and see you guys back in 20 minutes we will be frying up some salsa guys my dough been resting about 15 minutes now we're gonna start the um cooking process of it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna portion it i'm cutting it into four four pieces of dough loy lower my surface roll this up like i'm just doing it like roti loy you would say make them into ball because I got to roll this out, put it on my pan to bake a little bit my um, tawa so I can cut it easily. Some people just roll it out like this and cut it up and put it in the oil. But for me, that's really hard because it's very sticky. And it's not manageable then, it's like making your work harder. I got four loy out of this. If this, the, the, the size that I would be cutting it is too thick for you, you can cut these in smaller loy and roll them out. So keep on flowering as you roll. So it doesn't stick and this gets sticky very fast for some reason that's perfect for me so now i'm gonna transfer this over to my towel and let's head over to the stove so guys here i have my um my tawa heating up well it's not a traditional tawa it's american kind of tawa um i just put this on and i want this um to lightly bake i don't want it to cook just lightly bake ahead and flip this over and this is what we're looking for it's lightly bake I'm just pressing it down I would say like a minute and a half on each side and it's not that hot as you can see I'm putting my hands in so I'm just gonna take this off I'm gonna do another one I went ahead and put the second one on I'm just flipping this I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and then I'm gonna come back and show you when I'm cutting them up and frying them up. So guys, this is what our um, salsa look like after baking it. So now we have to cut them into tiny little long strips. So what I usually do, I divide it into like this. 
and I just run my knives through. So be careful if you don't know, like to use your knife very quickly, be careful. So the technique basically is like this. You tuck your fingers in and you press, so, and you just slice. I'm using my finger as my guideline here. And you're putting the pressure on your knife as you dice and go. If you can't do that, some people use a scissors. You can slice it slowly. Um, like take your time with the knife and slice it. Um, some people use the scissors to do it this way. Honestly, for me, it's a little too time consuming. I get it done faster with the knife. But that's another way you can do it if you're not comfortable going in with your knife like me. But basically, I learned that technique from watching chefs. You just tuck your finger in and you, you go so you don't cut anything. And that's what I'm using my finger as my guideline here. And you can go as thick as you want. I wouldn't say too thick or as thin as you would like. And um, I try to get it as thin as, as possible because I love it like crunchy and thin, nice also. But you can go. So pretty much I'm gonna show you guys another step. So you just run your fingers through, make sure they're um, single out, they're not sticking together. And if you're gonna run your blade through, make sure your knife is sharp because the, pro the process is gonna be harder if it's not. This, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up all my um, salsa and my oil is heating up there and I'm gonna come back and show you guys when we start the frying process. So guys, I have about five cups of oil heating up here. Um, I'm slowly adding my um, salsa to the oil. It do eats up the oil, just to let you guys, let you, let you know. I'm gonna fry this until it's golden brown and I'm gonna come back and show you the color we're looking for so guys look at this it's achieving that nice color we want and i can already hear the crunch in it i'm just gonna fry this up a little bit more and then i'm gonna pull it out of the oil this is looking delicious already and we want to fry it until it got crunch very crunchy and crispy and nice Nobody wants no soft, soggy, salty. And I'm frying it on medium, medium to high heat. I don't want it to like get too brown too fast and it's not cooked properly. This color is perfect for me. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. And I'm pulling them out and I'm draining them on a paper towel. I'm just making sure the oil is great out good. I don't want too much oil in our sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and fry up the rest and I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like inside texture wise. Here you have it guys, our finished delicious sauce. I plated it up with my delicious mango sour. Um, I'm also gonna put this in the description below, um, the link to my mango sour. 
So let's just break into these babies and see. Do you see that? That nice hollowness inside. Oh my God. So look at it. Look at the crunch in it. Look how easy it breaks. Perfectly delicious salsa. Oh, I'm going to eat this like no more tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please share this recipe. If you do try it, leave your um, feedback in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing. Please keep on liking and subscribing for more amazing, delicious recipes from my kitchen to yours.